What's up YouTube and I'm back at you with another video and in this video I'm going to give my prediction for the LSU Tigers versus the Ole Miss Rebels. Uh, this is a great matchup last season and both of these teams at one point were competing for the SEC West uh, division and um, LSU won last season. I think they won 45 to 20 or something like that and um, LSU won the head to head um, and uh, they won in domination fashion last season and um uh, Ole Miss would like to get, you know, uh, another chance at, you know, trying to beat LSU this season. Uh, this time, LSU goes on the road to Oxford, Mississippi. And I'm going to just go ahead and read the stats. You know, uh, we all know uh, at this point, uh, LSU started at quarterback, uh, Jaden Daniels, as he was last season. Uh, so far, he's thrown for 1,296 yards. Uh, not too bad, you know, completion percentage of 72.6. Uh, he's thrown for uh, 12 touchdowns uh, and only has two interceptions. Um, in my opinion, has improved, you know, greatly in my opinion. Uh, a lot of people saw him just as a run, for, uh, run first quarterback, but uh, he's been able to pass the ball downfield and uh, got some dangerous weapons on the outside. Uh, Logan Diggs at running back. He has 553 yards rushing. Uh, he has one touchdown on the season. But a uh, very, very tough uh, tank-looking running back, man, just able to run people over. But with that being said, Jaden Daniels is the second leading rusher with 193 yards with two touchdowns, as well as they have Josh Williams, who has 145 yards and a touchdown. So this LSU team uh, has a lot of great running backs and a really, really good running team. They also got Noah Kane as well. So this LSU team uh, got a very, very great offense, a team that brought in a lot of experience from last season and uh, uh, starting to peak, you know, uh, starting to peak in my opinion. I think they could probably get even uh, better. And uh, that's kind of scary considering how good, you know, uh, LSU was able to do last season and be able to win the West. And uh, they just, you know, continue to get better and better each matchup. Wide receiver, uh, they got some dogs at wide receiver. Malik Neighbors and Brian Thomas Jr., two great players. Malik Neighbors has 523 yards on the season with five touchdowns. Brian Thomas Jr., 413 yards on the season with five touchdowns. These two guys, man, uh, they're going to give any team that they play this season uh, problems. And, um, just really, really good uh, receiving core, you know, Mason Taylor, at tight end. Uh, this is another guy that's great. Uh, Kyron Lacey, another guy that has a touchdown with 98 yards receiving. I mean, this LSU team just has a lot of talent. And um, they kind of, like I said, took a bump against Florida State early on in the season. But uh, ever since then, uh, they've done a phenomenal job, you know, picking up uh, the offense. And on uh, the defense, uh, even though um, – Took that loss early on. It seems to me like the defense is getting a lot better. And, and be honest, in that first matchup, you know, against Florida State, the defense, in my opinion, up front was playing really, really well. Just on the back end, they kind of um, struggled, you know. But um, the LSU team that's very, very dangerous. And um, it's going to be interesting to see what they do against Ole Miss uh, going on the road. Now, Ole Miss, uh, Jackson Dart, their quarterback, He's thrown for 1,000 yards and 96, uh, 1,096 yards. Um, he's thrown for seven touchdowns, had two interceptions. Uh, this is an old Miss team that was putting up 50 plus points, you know, uh, this season. Uh, it just coming off a loss to Alabama, uh, only scoring 10, but um, still a great team uh, offensively. Um, that's able to put up a lot of points. Uh, Jackson Dart, he's the leading rusher on the team. Uh, like I said, dual threat guy, can run it in, pass it. Uh, he's thrown for 200. Uh, no, he's rushed for uh, 219 yards, and he has three touchdowns. And like I said, he has seven touchdowns passing. So dual threat guy, um, you're going to have your hands full trying to stop this guy. Uh, Quishon Jenkins, uh, he's rushed for 201 yards, and he has four touchdowns. Uh, Ulysses Bentley, Bentley, the fourth, uh, he has 91 yards and a touchdown. So uh, this 
Ole Miss team has great, you know, running backs as well as wide receivers as well. Jordan Watkins, he has 347 receiving yards with a touchdown. Uh, Trey Harris, uh, great guy, great uh, athletic guy, 188 yards receiving with five touchdowns. So uh, this Ole Miss team, they got some guys. They got big Michael Trigg. You know, this is a guy that he only has one touchdown on the season with 65 yards, but very, very big target, you know, uh, just waiting on him to have a breakout, you know, game. But uh, this Ole Miss team is no uh, slouch. Uh, like I said, uh, also Jordan Watkins, that wide receiver. Uh, I probably already mentioned him, but great wide receiver. Great guy with 347 yards. So really, really good offensive team. Defensively, Trey Washington at safety. He has 25 tackles. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's the leading tackler. Yeah. Trey Washington, um, they got some dudes, man. Uh, to be honest, Ole Miss defensive front was giving Alabama problems. You know, uh, they definitely can bring a pass rush. Uh, they now have Pete Golden as their defensive coordinator. And uh, despite how this Alabama fans feel about Pete Golden, uh, he did put – our defenses were ranked in the top ten, you know, for most of the uh, time he was there. So, um uh, is that does that have to do with talent or is that coaching that's going to be interesting to see? But nevertheless, this Ole Miss team uh, is very disruptive up front. Ole Miss has 14 sacks on the season, so uh, this LSU Tiger offensive line is going to have to be able to block for Jane Daniels. Um, very, very good team, you know, Ole Miss, uh, despite. Uh, them are only putting up 10 points against uh, Alabama. So, uh, read off some more stats. I'm going to read off uh, both teams' uh, total yardage that they're uh, getting and what they're giving up. LSU is averaging 530 yards a game. If we were to break that down, it's 338 yards passing, and they're getting 191 yards on the green. That's a very, very good offense for LSU. You know, like I said, they're putting it together. Did a phenomenal job against uh, Mississippi State, putting up 41 points on them, and had a you know close game against Arkansas. They put up 30. They won the game 34-31, but nevertheless, a very very dangerous LSU team that can score at any moment. Now LSU is giving up 360 yards a game. They give up 228 through the air. They give them up 132 on the ground. So. Uh, as a team, it's pretty good. You know, the whole team is 360 yards, but I know LSU would like to get that uh, rush yards allowed now, you know, under 100 yards a game. Now, Ole Miss, Ole Miss is total yardage. They're getting 470 yards a game. Uh, that's 323 through the air, and they're getting 146 on the ground. So, very balanced offense as well. You know, you got two teams with great offenses. Ole Miss is – uh, giving up though 351 yards on on the season, so that's 226 through the air and 125 on the ground. So uh, this is an upgrade, in my opinion, uh, for Ole Miss. Ole Miss used to give up so many points, you know, from last season, just couldn't really uh, stop anybody. But this year, uh, you can tell the difference in their offensive. I mean, a different a defensive front. You know, uh, the guys are getting back there. And like I said, 14 sacks on the season, but um. I'm going to read off LSU's. Let me see. How many sacks does LSU have? Yeah, LSU has nine sacks on the season. So, um, really, really good team. And they got four interceptions. So, this is going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, can't wait to see it. And um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Now, like I said, the line for this game uh, is at, you know, they got it for LSU minus two and a half. So, that's telling people that they think this is going to be a close matchup, and I think it's going to be close as well. Um, in the end, if I had to pick a winner, I'm picking LSU to win this matchup. And the reason why, I just think out of the two, I think LSU has the better uh, defense. Uh, even though they don't have as much sacks as Ole Miss, I think LSU has the better O-line. And I think – LSU is going to be able to run the ball and uh, pass the ball. 
And what makes LSU so dangerous is Jaden Daniels. This guy, uh, if he doesn't see it downfield, he's able to scramble out the pocket. I mean, he's just so elusive. I've seen it time and time again where you think you have him, and then he just gets out and gets that first down. And the fact that he, in my opinion, has improved passing ball downfield, I think that's going to be the difference in this matchup. Uh, Ole Miss, you know, um, last matchup against Alabama, uh, just able to only put up 10 points. I think LSU is up there in the SEC West having one of the best defenses as well as Alabama. And I think LSU is going to put it together in this matchup. And uh, I just don't see Ole Miss scoring enough points, you know, to keep up with LSU. I think LSU got the difference makers at wide receiver with Malik Neighbors and uh, Thomas Jr. Uh, those guys, man, Brian Thomas Jr., those guys are really, really good. And um, it's just almost unfair on the back end, you know, how good, talented those guys are. Uh, just too much you got to account for on uh, LSU's offense, in my opinion, for Ole Miss. But uh, what do you guys think? You know, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And once again, if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely be back with more college football content. Thanks, guys, and roll tide.